Kazexpo audit conducts tests. Multiple tests. <laughs> Manufacturers. Engineering organizations. Logistics companies. Suppliers and dealers. Approach Kazexpo Audit for the conducting of tests and obtaining certificates of product conformity in practically any sphere of human activity. Everything begins here, in Kazakhstan, in Almaty, in the main testing center, Kazexpo Audit. Many people want to get into the testing center in order to see how tests are conducted. Since testing is a serious business with many secrets. We invest a lot in the latest equipment and new areas of activity, about 100 million a year. We are constantly developing, completing the construction of buildings, expanding. Our partners trust us and recommend Kazexpo audit to their colleagues and friends, because we have a whole range of competitive advantages. We understand that to be competitive, we need to be the best in everything. In order to retain our competitive advantage, Kaz Expo Audit employs over 80 specialists qualified in more than 100 fields. From chemistry to mechanics, who have been working here every day over the past 20 years. So what exactly is the Kaz Expo Audit Testing Center? First of all, it is the largest accredited laboratory in Kazakhstan, equipped with the latest technology for testing, personal protective equipment. While working at high altitudes, a person should be able to perform risk-related work and at the same time be guaranteed protection from any incidents. Fall protection device tests are carried out using this special unit. The designs and dimensions of our unit enable us to test modern anchor lines with increased interspan intervals. A situation is simulated where all the users fall at the same time. For example, seven of them. The line must reliably stop the fall of all test loads, while no part of the anchor line should fail. Vertical deflection of the line is also important. Data logging is carried out by a single computerized system, simultaneously recording the load sensor readings and making it possible for the recorded processes to be analyzed in graphic format. After all, those working in hazardous production quite literally entrust their lives and health to one or another safety belt. Protective suit, safety shoes, mask, helmet or glasses, and only here, during the testing process, can it be determined to what extent one is really protected. For this reason, the test samples are subjected to real punishment. Take this welder's suit. It can stand a light shower of as many as 30 drops of molten metal and 50 seconds of close contact with nichrome wire, heated to a temperature of 800 degrees. Modern protective toe caps can withstand shocks of up to 200 joules. 
which is the approximate force of a 20 kilogram beam falling from a height of one meter. Isn't it a fact that quality shoes would be most valuable for the toes in such a situation? Do your safety shoes slip? Be careful! Only in this laboratory can you check the anti-slip properties of the sole on different surfaces. To avoid becoming the victim of an accident, make sure that your high visibility clothing reflects light sufficiently well and that your insulated overalls don't let you freeze in winter. Respiratory protection equipment is a separate focus of attention and source of pride in the Kaz Expo Audit Test Center. Since these half-face respirators are going to be used in the most polluted conditions in hazardous production. High-quality filtering, half-face respirators should fit the face well and have low breathing resistance. With this setup, we measure the initial resistance to constant airflow. The respirator is placed firmly over the face of the dummy, the required airflow is set, and resistance to inhalation and exhalation are measured. One of the important indicators is the amount of carbon dioxide in the inhaled air. This breathing setup almost perfectly simulates the processes of human respiration. The filtering capacity of material is one of the key characteristics in the provision of protective properties. In this test setup, we determine the effectiveness of filtered material. We skip the test substance and observe the residual concentration. Harmful particles can get under the respirator not only through the filter material and possibly the exhalation valves, but also through gaps in the places where the mask fits onto the face. The influence of these factors combined is considered the penetration coefficient, the ratio of concentration of the test substance under the respirator to the concentration of the test substance in the test chamber atmosphere. These tests are carried out with 10 people in good general health and who don't have a beard or sideburns. National symbols are sent to our test center to determine whether their colors and physical characteristics strictly adhere to the required standards. These are issues of state importance because state emblem and the flag are symbols of our country's freedom and independence. I can say with pride that our company is the only one in Kazakhstan that has received state accreditation for the right to conduct such research. Wherever we are, electromagnetic waves are all around us. But are they so harmless? Electronic and radio devices interfere with each other. They can disrupt the whole system, disturb the rhythm, say, of your pacemaker, or alter your voice over the telephone beyond recognition. Specialists in the Laboratory for Electromechanical Testing are engaged precisely in checking the electromagnetic compatibility of devices. Tests for electromagnetic compatibility and acoustic performance are conducted in an anechoic shielded chamber which is a sealed-off room whose walls are covered on the outside with metal plates and inside with a radio and sound-absorbing coating to prevent reflection and intrusion of electromagnetic and sound waves. If you go into this chamber, your cell phones will stop receiving network signals. All manner of electromechanical tests are successfully carried out at Kaz Expo Audit Testing Center. Here, metal is tested for durability, vibration resistance, which is an important performance factor of most technical and household appliances. Does rain or snow affect the operation of outdoor equipment and external devices? Electrical appliances, cables and cords undergo tests for all electrical apparatus. 
The corrosion resistance of metal parts and materials is checked with this salt spray cabinet. The temperature chamber helps to create high or low temperature conditions for carrying out consecutive tests. Metal, plastic or cloth. The breaking points of similar materials are tested using the continuous strain method. In the 20 years that have passed from the first test tube to the first place among testing centers whose laboratories are equipped with a corresponding level of modern high-precision measuring instruments, CAS Expo Audit has proved to many and to itself that love of one's work, unity and science all do their bit. Mankind no longer uses only that which is provided by nature. More and more new substances and materials are being synthesized. Food products have increased shelf lives and are beautifully packaged. All of this makes our life more comfortable. But at the same time, we want to be assured of the safety of cosmetics, children's goods, foodstuffs and other products that are all around us. Modern high-precision instruments such as a glass chromatograph, a liquid chromatograph, an atomic spectrometer, an image analyzer that records toxicity index, enable us to determine in minimal time an entire range of safety indicators from carcinogens present in grain to the organic substances emitted by various plastics in toys, for example. Considering the fact that Kazakhstan is an active exporter of grain to the world market, it is very important to note that Kazexpo Audit Testing Center possesses every possibility to conduct a full range of tests in order to prove the complete safety of grain and bread. Kazexpo Audit has internationally high accomplishments. This is evidenced by the company's various awards and certificates, such as the European Grant Award conferred in Cannes, as well as the Medal for Impeccable Business Reputation, the Medal for Significant Contribution to the work of the Interstate Council for Standardization, Metrology and Certification. On the occasion of the 25th anniversary of Kazakhstan's independence, the General Director of Kazexpo Audit was awarded a Jubilee Medal for contribution to the development of the country. ISO 9001 certificates issued by IQNet and the Russian Register are regularly confirmed. The center's test results are recognized at international level due to its accreditation by the ILAC system. Kaz Expo Audit steadfastly advances to the future, analyzing market demand and identifying areas of deficiency, endeavoring to cover them in a timely manner, adhering to flexibility regarding issues of price and timing where possible. The company makes every effort to achieve mutual understanding with its customers by maintaining long-term relationships. In total, there are more than 500 units of measuring equipment in the CAS Expo Audit Testing Center. Consecutive tests are carried out here. The testing process never stops. CAS Expo Audit continues to conduct tests every day for 20 years so far.